this is traditionally senior day at the great New York State Fair, and it's so important to make sure our seniors are comfortable, they're healthy, and they're having a good time here at the and fair. And that's why we're having this important conversation. We want to welcome two CNY advocates um, for the seniors, Melissa Murphy and Amberly Reinerson of Aging Advocates. Thank you for joining us Thank you here for on Bridge State. First of all, explain your organization. What is it, and how can it help seniors? So we started Aging Advocates to help families navigate any aging related need and advise them on the care options here in Central New York. So Amberly, I know there are probably a lot of misconceptions mm -hmm. out there about senior living. So let's let's walk through them beginning with um, you know it, a lot of people might think it's a it's a hospital like atmosphere. Is that true? It is not true. Uh, there are several different types of senior living communities in the area um, and most of them are really they live an active lifestyle it's not the nursing home that you remember from back in the day and and how can it be different for seniors because they are nervous about it you know it's gonna be a change in lifestyle not what they're used to and there are some other misconceptions as well Absolutely. Um, so it's important to remember that there are dozens of different types of communities, different levels of care, depending on what their medical needs may be. And some have very few restrictions. So you'll see seniors driving their cars, living very active lifestyles, coming and going. And then there are um, other types of levels where they may get some care, some safety supervision to help them continue right. to live actively and and this conception a is prison-like, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's not prison-like at all. Not prison-like, uh, not hospital-like. Um, I know a concern for some might be, how's it going to get paid for? So mm -hmm. tell us about the whole Medicare mm -hmm. situation and, and the concern. How do you alleviate some of those concerns? Sure. Uh, a common misconception is that Medicare pays for these senior living communities, and unfortunately, they do not. Medicare does pay for your hospital stay and short-term rehab uh, stays, but not for assisted living communities. That that is funded either private pay or by Medicaid and there are various other things that can assist with payment for that uh, one being the VA aid in attendance which is a pretty good chunk of money uh, monthly for a veteran a veteran and their spouse or a widow of a veteran talk about the Medicaid process though you've got to do that early right don't wait until you're in a, a living setting like that or a nursing home to absolutely. apply right absolutely so it's very important that you do um, reach out either to the Office for Aging or a, an elder attorney and start the Medicaid um, planning process. Um, it does limit some of your options possibly, um, but it's, it's something you don't want to wait until your last minute and scrambling. How do you go about finding the right fit for a, a senior living situation? I think that's where you would want to contact uh, an agency like us. We are, you know, well versed in all of the communities in the area and we know, you know, a community is really only as good as its staff currently, right? Uh, so we know the ins and outs of the communities. Yeah. So our advice would be, um, you know, advice from your well-meaning friends is not always the most helpful um, because a community that was maybe top-notch last year might not be currently. So we're in and out of all of the communities locally on a daily basis. Um, we know the pros and cons, and everyone's situation is very unique. Um, so it's important to, to pair them up with the most appropriate community for them. Because there can be some pitfalls, right? And you can find out too late, right? So you want to avoid that by doing your homework and getting all the information ahead of time. And you folks can help with that? Exactly. So we do help folks find the most appropriate community for them, but we also help them remain in their home if that's their goal also. You know, we talk about common misconceptions. Are there any common mistakes that we should be looking out for when it comes to uh, senior living? <laughs> Wait, don't wait till the last minute. Um, back to the Medicaid. Um, we used to have families say, okay, I, we're all set with our Medicaid and we're ready to move in. Well, unfortunately, they weren't aware that there's only a small number of communities that that leaves an option for. So, who oh, no. knows? Planning, planning, planning. <laughs> Good advice. Oh, oh dear. Can we get some help here? Vesta, just run in here and, and grab this so we don't we don't well, kill Chris. I'm not going to complain because I like the breeze. So right. it actually it was very light. So I'm fine. I didn't get hurt. But thank you both so much for coming on and explaining that because and and that's the key is do not wait until it's too late. Do your homework now. Do your research. And there are options um, if you can afford it too, right? Yep. Is it more affordable now? 
yes, there's all different levels, um, different financial uh, affordability. So reach out to us. We can advise you on the options um, and hopefully help help meet whatever your goals are. Mm -hmm. All right, and there you see the website on your screen, agingadvocatescny.com. You can also call 315-480-4770. You can check them out on social media at Aging Advocates CNY. Thank you both for coming on. We really do appreciate it. Important topic, so yes. thanks for coming on. Thank you so yeah. much. And we'll be right back with more Bridge Street, live from the Great New York State Fair. Stay with us.